Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Ready Tech and this is the speed test between Redmi Note 5 and Moto G5 Plus. The Redmi Note 5 sports a Snapdragon 625 processor with Adreno 506 GPU. Base variant starts at 10,000 rupees for the 3GB RAM variant and I'm using the next variant with 4GB of RAM. Moto G5 Plus sports a Snapdragon 625 processor with Adreno 506 GPU. Now these are the anti 2 and Geekbench scores of both the phones. Now I'll start the solo speed test where I open these 20 applications on both the phones individually and you can see which phone opens them faster. By the way, both the phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and all the apps have been updated to the latest version. Both the phones are also running the latest version of their operating system. So guys, Moto G5 Plus was one second faster than Redmi Note 5. That is really a negligible difference. But the Moto phone I've used in this video is my friend's phone and there are other applications running in the background like WhatsApp and some other 20 applications. So even with all of that, Moto G5 Plus was able to outperform Redmi Note 5 which was a brand new phone with just these apps and some games. So in the solar speed test, Moto G5 Plus is the winner. Now let's see how they perform side by side. In this regular speed test, I'll open the first 16 applications on both the phones at the same time and you can see which phone opens them faster and exactly how fast it is when compared to the other phone. For the regular speed test, it's almost a tie for all the apps and for few apps, Moto was faster by few milliseconds. And as I've said, Moto has other apps running in the background. So considering that, Moto G5 Plus is the winner in the speed test. Now let's see how it performs in the memory management round. In this memory management round, I'll open the same set of apps in the reverse order to see if they're still in memory. If they are in memory, they should open in less than a second at the same place where I left them earlier. Even 3GB of RAM should be sufficient to keep all these apps in memory if the phone has good memory management. By the way, I'm using the 4GB RAM variant of Redmi Note 5 and the 3GB RAM variant of the Moto G5 Plus. Memory management is good on both the phones but it is better on Redmi Note 4 because of the additional RAM. So in the memory management round, Redmi Note 5 is the winner. 
So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What's your take on the speed test? Do let me know by commenting below this video. If you are planning to buy either of these phones, use the link in the description. It really helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.